This video will cover the linear sizing of a linear rotary motor in a cap torque checking application. The first thing we'll do is select the linear motor in the category Linear Rotary Motors Linear Part. In the group, we'll leave PRO1 selected. In the motor family, we'll look for the PRO1 84x80 standard variant with a 300 millimeter stroke. I already have the application data in the info tab. The tooling's moving mass is 6,161 grams. We're assuming that we're using two mag springs and their mass is 642 grams. The grand total to type in the load tab is 6,800 grams with the additional moving mass. The orientation of this motor will be 90 degrees with positive being up. The first segment of the motion profile will be a 500 millisecond dwell. The second segment will be a sign move to extend downward. This move will be negative 280 millimeters in 1000 milliseconds. Segment three will be a 700 millisecond dwell and this will be when the cap is being placed on the bottle. We will then add an external force of plus 22 newtons to have pressure downward on the bottle. Segment 4 will be a 280 millimeter retraction in 1000 milliseconds. The motion profile is complete. We have a regeneration warning and we still need to add the mag spring forces in our global settings. Double clicking on the external force brings you to these settings and we add plus 120 for 260 newton mag springs from our calculations. We then can take care of the regeneration error by adding 10,000 microfarads and using an external capacitor. The last thing we do is enter our K15 cable with a 4 meter length. All the warnings have now been removed. 